this is worksheet 14.4 and we're looking at sequences. Um, so we're going to look at number two and number three, write an equation for each sequence. Don't forget to find the initial value. So let's start with number two. First thing you want to do is look at it and determine whether you're dealing with an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence. In this pattern, you can see here that you're dividing by four each time. Dividing by four, or you could think of it as multiplying by one-fourth. So we know the multiplier is one-fourth. The initial value is the term that comes before the 28. So if you're multiplying by one-fourth going forward, that means you have to divide by one-fourth going this way. Dividing by one-fourth means you're multiplying by four. 28 times four is 112. So that's our initial value. Our equation, we have a couple things we need to look at. One is the starting value, which is 112. So I'm going to say t of n equals 112. And then secondly, we're going to look at the multiplier. The multiplier here is 1 fourth, since that's what we're multiplying by each time. And then to the n, n represents the term that you're on. Okay, let's look at number three. Looking at this sequence, first you need to decide whether it's arithmetic or geometric. Here we can see that the common difference here is eight. We're adding eight on each term. So the initial value of this sequence, the term that comes before negative 21, if you're adding eight going forward, that means you have to subtract eight to go backwards. So negative 21 minus eight is negative 29. The equation of an arithmetic sequence looks like the equation of a line. So again, you have two things you need to look at. One is the common difference or the growth. The growth here is positive eight. So we're gonna say eight N. And then you have the starting value, which is negative 29.